morning, friends. It is 2024. 2024. Monday, which is dollar day. The lighting is weird right here. The sun is just coming up. It is almost nine o'clock, so it's coming up right over, like, in my face. It is 40 degrees outside. It is cold in Las Vegas. Our low tonight, I think, is going to be, like, 27. So, it is cold. I haven't been to Dollar Day in, like, months. Literally months. So, hopefully, I can find some good stuff. Um, I don't know if those same ladies that are always here are going to be here today. It is very cold for us here today. It is windy. There's snow on the mountains. Did you see how beautiful the strip looks this morning? It looks amazing. It is so crystal clear outside. I can see everything. I'm not sure if you're able to see in the video or not the sphere, but it kind of looked like an eyeball or something this morning. Um, it was like all blue with like something in the middle, like kind of like an eyeball, but it's hard to tell because I am so far away and I'm driving. <laughs> trying not to, trying not to be one of those looky loos. But um, it's hard not to look at it, right? So hopefully you guys can see it. It's like highlighting my forehead. <laughs> Weird lighting. So anyways, I'm going to go into Dollar Day and see what I can find after. So I just got done shopping at uh, Dollar Day. Um, I spent $45, which means I got about 40 pieces because I did buy one item that was $3.99. So um, that one was full price. Um, everything else was $1. Um, it was kind of a sad day. Um, I don't, it seemed like most of the tags in the store were like orange for some reason. And the color of the day was green. So I didn't really find a lot. Um, I will have to source again before the end of the week um, because I will run out of stuff um, before the end of the week to list. So yeah, so about 40 pieces is what I got. Woo! 
welcome back, welcome back. Okay, I made it home. Look guys, I have a new friend. So for those of you that haven't seen my new buddy here, this is Sancho. He is about four and a half months old. He is a dachshund puppy. He's already like super long. <laughs> but this is our new buddy. His name is Sancho. Sancho, guess who named him? Yeah, you can figure it out. Okay, so um, let's see. About approximately 40 pieces. Oh, I left the receipt in my wallet. So I spent $45. One item. I'll just show it right off the bat. This one I got and I paid full price. Thank you, Sancho. He's going to inspect every piece. So I did pay full price for this Christian Odiger, Odiger. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Odiger, Odiger. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, he's the guy that does the Ed Hardy stuff or that did the Ed Hardy stuff. So this is a vintage t-shirt and I did pay full price for it, but it was only $3.99. So this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool shirt. Everything else was $1. So yeah, I got a few things for Angel. So I got, he's a texture guy. He likes texture. So not necessarily a brand thing for him all the time. This one is weatherproof. That's the brand but it's like a textured chambray um, button-up shirt. And the size double XL. This is a Billabong. It's one of his favorite brands to sell in a size small. It has a cool pattern on it. It's a short sleeve button-up shirt. He likes a lot of those surfer style or surfer brands. Billabong, Quicksilver. I can't think of any other ones off the top of my head. Um, this is a Gap dress in a size four. I like the style. It's buttoned down. It does tie at the waist. It has long sleeves. It feels like rayon. It's very comfy. It's got big pockets. Really nice, really pretty. I got an Ann Taylor Loft dress. This is a size small. It feels like quilted. I don't I don't know what this fabric is called. It feels quilted, but it has a fun, funky pattern. It is just a shift dress. So a shift dress means that it just goes straight down like it doesn't come in at the waist. And it's got these short sleeves, a zipper in the back, um, and a round neck. Hopefully I can give you guys some keywords in these videos that you can use when you're listing clothing. This is a D and Co. I think it's denim. Yeah, denim and company. Uh, extra, extra small. So the brand here doesn't really mean anything. It is just a simple maxi dress. It does tie at the waist here. But these maxi dresses do really well year round. People look for them. Um, this one is sleeveless. You know, to wear around the house or on vacation or a cruise or something like that. Um, this is Solitaire Swim. Solitaire Swim, size medium. This is really pretty. So I'm assuming that this is supposed to be a swim cover-up. However, it could be like a boho tunic. 
Uh, it is embroidered and has like sort of, it's not really a bell, but it has like a, a wide sleeve. Um, it has a v-neck with a tie in the front and these cool little tassels. Um, it is a longer length, so it could be a tunic or even like a mini dress if you didn't want to list it as a swim cover-up. This, I don't know about this brand. I just think that this is a fun and funky shirt. Jaded. And right now my Depop store is on fire with all this like 90s Y2K sort of stuff. So I thought this would do really well. It's sheer. It's got like this cool neon graffiti all over it. Pretty cool shirt. This one, I don't know this brand either. Um, Ambra, A-M-B-R-A, -A, but it says made in Italy. So I'm taking a chance on this. Plus it feels so amazing. It feels soft and buttery and it's just a tank top, but it's got like these layers, these flowy layers. Um, let me see if there's a fabric tag in here somewhere. Oh, it's silk. It's silk. Okay, so I don't know. That seems like something good. I got this one for Angel. Don't know the brand. La Home. El Homey. <laughs> El Homey. I don't know. Uh, extra large. It is silk and it is a button down. What are you doing? No, no, no. Sancho's eating the tags. The joys of having a puppy. Here, put these on this side. Sit. There you go. Um, this is also for Angel Grand Slam. It is a polo shirt in his favorite color, which is purple. So I got that for him. He might not even resell that. I don't know. This is a t-shirt for me. So the brand doesn't really matter, but Parallel Skies, it's just a t-shirt um this is maurice's in an extra small this would have been perfect for the christmas season um it is like a dark forest green with sparkles all in it and a really cool cut out neckline and it's just a sweater but it's pretty Ben Hewson for Angel, size small. It is a button up short sleeve shirt. Feels like linen maybe. Okay, so this is one I showed you earlier in the video when I was shopping. And because this one didn't have a tag there, Sometimes you could just feel like that it's a nicer quality. So it's an athletic zip up. Um, so I checked the tag. This, this isn't always the case, but in this case, it does say Chico's right there. So I know that this is a Chico's brand. And later down the line, I happened to find a second one um, in a different size that did have the Chico's tag on it. I did not end up buying that one because they wanted a different price for it, not a dollar. So I didn't, it was like $8.99 or something. I'm not going to pay that. This is, I'm not really sure, <laughs> but it's this cool, like, you know, open crochet knit. I don't know the difference between knit and crochet. Um, thing I don't know a top sort of like a boho I don't know you just wear it over like that it does have a tie that comes with it I'm pretty sure it's handmade um, 
So I think if I put it on the mannequin and style it right, it could do really well. That sort of knit crochet is really trendy right now. So I'm hoping that we can do well with that. I might call it like a poncho, a shawl, cover up, those different things. Um, this is banana in a size four. Uh, you know, it's like a career wear dress, A-line. It has the surplice top or a faux wrap, whatever you want to call it. It's lined. Um, it has a zipper. This feels like could possibly be a linen blend. Usually if it's a linen, you might want to mention that. So linen is um, something that people look for. It's not, it's polyester. So linen is something that people will search for. Uh, this is Worthington. This is a vintage um, or an older, it might be like Y2K or 90s. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but um, it's a suit. It came with the matching skirt. This one also is a suit, le suit. And I think this is probably 90s or Y2K as well with a matching skirt. What size is this? A size eight. And again, this is probably 90s. Um, let's see, this, I don't know, I just really liked this top. This brand, I have no idea what this is, but I thought this was really pretty. Kind of boho, it's purple, floral, with these elastic sleeves, like a puff sleeve. Very boho, it has this like crochet knit trim. It's a little bit sheer, so you could wear like a cami or something underneath it. I just thought it was pretty. This is Marciano, which is Guess, I believe. Like, I've sold this brand before. But these are shorts. These are actually shorts. It looks like a little mini skirt, but it's shorts. Um, see, <laughs> it's shorts. So I think this is really cute. Um, what is this fabric? Try acetate. It feels kind of silky, but this is really cute. This is a vintage kind of like, um, suede feeling coat, like that faux suede. Could be worn as a, a blazer or a jacket. And it has embroidery. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is Jones, New York, size medium. This I'm pretty sure is leather. Yes, it is leather. Suede leather jacket. I got it. I paid a dollar for this. Right? It has that very 90s look to it. Um, these are for Angel. He loves shorts and board shorts. I think these are Quicksilver. Quicksilver board shorts. Just um, ba -ba -ba. This, okay, this is interesting. So here's the brand. Don't know it. It is a skirt. Just a regular A-line or pencil skirt. 
it says on here model mark article super fine size 34 i don't know what any of this means on the tag but i thought it was cute and it looked expensive and feels expensive sometimes you just have to go with your gut this is a tommy bahama golf um it is a mini skirt squirt so it does have like the shorts shorts underneath so it's a squirt again they had a second one of these that didn't have a tag on it in like a blue color but they wouldn't give it to me for the dollar price so this is silk it's silk and rayon really cute golf stuff does pretty well um these okay that doesn't want to come out let me try something else this is a vintage um probably 80s or early 90s i don't know i'll have to do some research on it there's no brand it's just a tag like this like a paper tag and this is the skirt the pleated like midi style and it's sort of like a t-shirt fabric um let's see what's gonna come out here it's weird in this bag okay there we go this is for angel it's an izod i thought it was cute with this like reverse print flamingo button up this one is flag and anthem don't know the brand, but I thought he'd like this. It's like this really cool tie-dye button-up shirt. This is another one of those like quilted fabrics, but look at that. This is a fun mini skirt. The brand is Loft. I really like that. Like gold and blue. Some jeans. These are Maurice's, a size small regular, I guess. It says S R. So I'm guessing that's like a small and a regular length, maybe. They are skinnies in like this mint green color, which will be really cute for spring. These are Rewind in a size five. I just really like these for some reason. I don't know, they're like um, capris or like an ankle cut. I'm not sure I have to measure how long these are, but I like the pockets. Look at the pockets, they're cute. They're just cute, I don't know. Sometimes I just buy stuff because it's cute. <laughs> uh, this is Prana. So this brand does well. It's sort of like an active wear brand. Um, and it is a maxi skirt and sort of like this mustard color, size small. The fabric is really nice. Whatever fabric this is, it feels really nice. Tencel. this i actually have a dress in this exact fabric not by this brand though which is one state one one state and a size small but i have a maxi dress in this and i thought this was a dress as as well when i first picked it up but it's actually a jumpsuit so um with these big wide wide legs that kind of come up higher on the outside and then they're longer on the inside. So that's really cute. It has pockets and like a tie at the waist. Man, I wish this would fit me. Um, this is International Concepts. It is a denim jacket. Um, 
um, it's black and it has like really pretty lace details on it and ruffles and then these like hook and loop, not hook and loop, hook and eye, <laughs> hook and loop would be like Velcro, hook and eye um, closures there. They go all the way down. Really pretty. These are women's pants. They are loft in a size six. Just career style pants. High waisted. One of those staples you need in your closet. This is Tangents. Um, I'm not sure the decade here, 80s, 90s, maybe earlier. So this is silk, rayon and silk. Uh, it has a lot number, so I'm thinking this might be, gosh, maybe even 70s. Here's the um, tag, okay. So I'm gonna do some research to see what decade this is. But, so it has buttons here at the waist with a zipper. These pretty buttons right here with a zipper. That's the front yoke. And then it kind of like swings out and flares at the bottom. It is a, I guess depending on how tall you are, more of a midi length and not quite a full length maxi skirt. This is by Emery Park, which I don't know. I just thought it was cute for Valentine's. It's this cute little crop top. Um, and it has like these little white and red hearts all over it. But this could go like a lot of different styles. It's kind of a silky fabric. This is simply irresistible simply irresistible it is sheer but look how pretty it's lace at the bottom sort of this rib knit fabric on the top so you could wear this as a cover-up wear this with lingerie um just throw it on over a tank top and some jeans you know for the summer or something Really cute, really cute, I like it. This Isaac Mizrahi for this striped like seersucker fabric. There's a blazer. It's gray and white and then it has, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but it does have metallic threads running through so it shimmers. It's pretty. Blazers are hot. The last piece I got, Body by Victoria. So these are Victoria's Secret clothing line. These are 90s Y2K. So they are low rise, as you can, I mean, look at that. <laughs> low rise pants. Uh, they kind of have like a wider leg at the bottom. Um, you know, the pockets in the back. It's like girls would, girls would wear these with like tops that like stopped right at their belly button. So you got like that little bit of skin there. But that's it. That is it. So today wasn't like a super great shopping day. I mean, usually, of course I haven't been, I haven't been to dollar day in months really, but, um, has it really been months? Yeah, I think it has been months. Um, but yeah, so I, I got, I only got about 40 pieces and usually I try to get like double that. So I will have to either go sourcing again, like this weekend, maybe at another thrift store, go yard selling, 
or um you know maybe try to do the swap meet or something this weekend although it's going to be like in the 20s i think this weekend so i don't know i don't know we'll see how that goes mm -hmm.